welcome back and yes here we have 99% of the game but what's missing we still haven't done the mini games actually let's draw off the stickers first so ooh, it looks like I missed one for the toy store what that can be. Probably has to do with the train. You know, I should try and find that. But yay, here we have all of the, uh, actually, I don't know what's going on with Priscilla's picture there. <laughs> she kind of looks like she's almost blended in with the background. Well, whatever. You'll see that these are pretty much, um, these are pretty much reminiscent of what you do to Cruella during the boss fights. Like, she's covered in melon, uh, in one of them, one of them, she's dizzy. Like, you make her dizzy in Big Ben. I don't know exactly what you do to get these, though. I guess you have to fight her without getting hurt? That, that would be my guess. I really don't know. And as for as for the toy store, actually, I have no idea what I'm missing. But well, if you want to exit out of it, you have to push the start button. Now, if I had to guess, oh wait, it's one of the bones. So do I really want to do that now? You know, I wanted to show off the mini games. So, we'll just hold off on that for now. Now, we're not going to see any pups or anything. You just basically aim the uh, arrow and yeah, you swing. Oh, come on. I guess I hit that too hard. <laughs> So you move the camera around with the L and R buttons, and yeah, swing is for the uh, circle button, but it's kind of like Rugrats where you have to hit it multiple times, so push the circle button, and then you hit it again when the meter reaches a, a certain uh, spot, well, a certain height. Yeah, with Rugrats, you have to actually hit it uh, three times, I think. Probably going to go over par for this whole thing, but mostly because I'm not used to this. <laughs> Ooh, maybe par for that, though. They all kind of look the same, really, but probably because they're all taking place at night. Ooh, okay, I know I'm going to go over par for this one. <sighs> While I was playing the factory level... I found it really funny that Fluffy mentions that he uh, he got captured and basically escaped by squeezing through uh, an air hole that was in the crate. Air holes are really tiny, okay? I, I Like I said, I think the breed that he is is a hairless Chinese crested, and they are really skinny. Like I, I think they basically look like chihuahuas. But, uh, yeah, that, I think that's what I thought he was at first, a chihuahua. I'm pretty sure he's not. And if he is, please correct me. But, yeah, as skinny as he is, I can't see him squeezing out of a, um, an air hole, of all things. <laughs> an air hole? Really? You, that, that's really how you got out? Mm. Now, I 
am going to be completely honest here. This is blind. This is completely blind. I have never completed this in full. I think I did try when I was a kid. But I don't think I've ever done it completely. And I'm not sure why this takes place at night. You know, maybe it's not even night. You know, these are probably just, you know, recreations of the level. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not the actual levels. But, you know, if you look at the level names, like this is the castle. We were just in Piccadilly Circuit. Um, a circus. <laughs> Wait, why I do that? Like a don't. Yeah, these are basically holes that are recreated to look like the levels. And, yeah, I have never played this in full. My favorite was always the tilt maze. See, I'm pretty much over par for all of this. But, you know, it's still nice to, you know, show it off. So, yeah, never done this in full, but as for... Come on, get off of those. Oh, almost made it. As for everything else, I have completed. Ugh, too hard. I didn't mean to hit it too hard. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if it's all of the levels. But yeah, here we are at Regent's Park. And that was the very first level. Does that mean there's going to be a maze one? <laughs> Yes. Whoa, look at hole in one. Awesome. <laughs> so I guess that's about it. So, let's get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, that is a level I have never, never completed until now. So yeah, I kind of went against something that I usually don't like to do and I did something blind. But that was just, you know, mini golf. It was just putt-putt. So, oh, and actually, maybe I should have, uh, you know, I'm going to do that. I mean, it's kind of pointless now because I just finished the game. But, you know, just so you can hear it, the instructions are basically explained by the characters. So, may as well let you hear what it, uh, what they say. Even though, you know, this is mini golf, you really don't need to hear basic instructions for that.
So yeah, basically, um, Cruella. <laughs> Really full of herself. <laughs> Seriously, I love that she thinks that mini golf is a stroke of genius. Really? Okay, whatever. All right, this is Dig Dog, and Dig Dog is basically a memory game. That's all it is. Just find two of the right pair of uh, objects, and you're done. So yeah, that's Dig Dog. And you know what? Did I just call it Dig Dug? Because <laughs> I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> really do like the reactions to these. So yay, flowers. No, wait. It's one of these, isn't it? No, it's not. Oops. Sorry, I'm quiet. There's really not much to say here. Like I said, it's just a mini game. I mean, it's just a um, <laughs> it's just a memory game. I keep pushing the triangle button and I keep forgetting there's no uh, tumble in this. And my time is gonna suck. But yeah, I'm really just doing this to show uh, to show what it looks like. So yeah, that is Dig Dog. So maybe I'll try one more before I end this part. Now the tilt maze is actually my favorite, <laughs> and you know, 
the uh, jam dance. That entails a lot of goofy stuff, so you would think that's my favorite. But it's basically exactly what it sounds. You tilt this maze around and you try to get the ball at the end without going through any holes. So yeah, it's just like Domino said. You don't want to go in any holes because you start over from the beginning. And thankfully, it doesn't end the game. But you still don't want to end up having to uh, uh, start over. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating. But if you are good enough and fast enough and careful enough, you can still get to the end fairly quickly. So you know, being sent back to the beginning wouldn't be too big a loss. And again, there's a time, uh, well, okay, not time limit, per se. You know, they just time you, see how long it takes. Don't know what my best time is, though. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. 